lights, camera action. Welcome to the Jackie O Show. My name is Jackie O. I'll be your host of the show right here on ALC TV, your favorite hometown cable station. Well, we're on location today at the Avon Lake Fire Department because it's Big Truck Day. That means families from all across the city will have a chance to come out and tour the big trucks of the city, including an ambulance, a fire truck, and even a heavy-duty tow truck. So let's go in and take a look around and find out what it takes to work on one of these trucks. We're standing right outside of the Avon Lake Fire Department truck garage with Forrest Mercer, who is a fireman here at the Avon Lake Fire Department. Forrest, nice to see you today. Yeah, you too. So how long have you been working for the Avon Lake Fire Department? I've been with the Avon Lake Fire Department for three years. And what does it take to become a fireman? Uh, to become a fireman, you have to go to fire school, which uh, takes a couple of months, and then paramedic school, which takes about a year, year and a half. Okay. Oh, so you actually have to do both now. Yeah, yeah. Everyone at the Avon Lake Fire Department is a fireman and a paramedic. Wow. Okay. So how long has that been like that? Uh, probably since the mid-1970s. Wow, okay. So tell us, what is the most rewarding part of your job? Uh, every day it's a little bit different, and you never know what's going to happen from day to day, and you know, get to help people out in the time of need is, uh, is pretty rewarding. What's been uh, your most memorable or kind of the most uh, action that you've seen since you've been on staff here with the Avon Lake Fire Department? Um, yeah, we've had a lot of interesting things. I mean, it seems like every day something uh, different and unusual is going on. But, um, yeah, I, I guess I don't know quite to pin it to one thing, you know. Okay. <laughs> um, there's always something going on, whether it be on the lake or uh, at any, uh, you know, any one of the different types of buildings and businesses we have in Avon Lake. It, it's always interesting. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about the fire truck here. Um, what, what's easy to use, what's not so easy to use? Uh, well, all of it's kind of tricky to use. The truck right behind us here is Ladder 11. Uh, it's an aerial tower platform truck um, that can go 100 feet in the air. Wow. Um, we use it at commercial fires or uh, high rises, apartment buildings, and uh, even sometimes at house fires if we need to be able to direct water from a higher position down into a house or something. Um, and it's, uh, it's a pretty complicated truck. It has a lot of moving parts, but uh, it's, uh, it's a really useful truck, too. I mean, it has a lot of uses in rescue and fire situations. So, Is it easy to hook it up to the fire hydrant? That's probably the easiest part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting the ladder set up and everything is probably the hardest part. Okay. So one more question I just want to ask you, and what, what is your work schedule like? So we work 24-hour shifts. Uh -huh. So we're here, we eat here, we sleep here. Uh, when we have time, um, you know, um, obviously if there's emergencies, we don't get to, but, and uh, we live here for 24 hours, so we call it the firehouse because we live here, and, uh, but then we're off for a day, and then we're back on for a day, so uh, we spend a lot of time here um, working with the same guys, you know, like a family, so it's, it's nice. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time today. All right, thank you. So we're standing here with Tom Sutcliffe, and he works on the Metro Life Flight helicopter. Tom, how long have you been doing this? You know, I've been doing this about four years. That's a quite a long time. And what's your title? Uh, so they, it's a flight nurse specialist for Metro Life Flight. Uh, it's officially I'm a nurse, uh, just like any other nurse, except with a little extra training, a little bit more experience to get on the helicopter. Yeah, tell us, did you have to go through both nurse training and helicopter training? Yeah, so I have my uh, bachelor's degree in nursing, uh, became a critical care nurse at a school, mm -hmm. uh, stayed there for about four or five years, uh, interviewed, and then became a life flight nurse right after that. Wow. How did you find out about it? Is it just kind of something you've always wanted to do or something that you stumbled on? You know, I shadowed when I was in nursing school, but uh, once I got out, I worked in critical care units, and we would see them come in, and uh, obviously with the helicopter and the cool uniforms and everything, I figured that's something I would try to, uh, try to do. So I have been asking everybody this question today, but what's your most rewarding experience to date? Uh, on the helicopter, you know, you could always say anyone that we save is a rewarding experience, but mm -hmm. there's been a couple of pediatric patients, the young kids, when you see them do well, see them come up and remember you, that's very rewarding. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you do mostly the hospital work or do you also do uh, life flights off the Lake Erie too? Or? Uh, so uh, for us, it's a... Uh, a lot of inner facility, meaning hospital, hospital, about 50% of that, and the rest is going to be scene runs, accidents on the highway. Uh, that's going to be the other half. Mm -hmm. So 50-50. Great. Yeah. So what's your favorite part about your job? <laughs> I want to say flying, but obviously it's helping people. That's why I became a nurse. Mm -hmm. so. so what's your work schedule like? 
So we work either 224s. Uh, it's not like firefighters where they have ABC shifts. It says 224s a week. Mm -hmm. So randomly scheduled, and we do have to work weekends and holidays just like any other nurse. Okay, well, enjoy your day here at Big Truck Day. Oh, yeah, thanks for having us.